the historic Citadel at the end of the second Quebec conference, Franklin Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and their party pose for photographers. President Roosevelt, Princess Alice, wife of Canada's Governor General, and Winston Churchill. Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt and Canada's Prime Minister Mackenzie King. Mrs. Roosevelt, Princess Alice, and Mrs. Churchill. Not forgetting Falla, the President Scotty. Official military delegates at a dinner given by Prime Minister King, General George C. Marshall and General H. H. Arnold, Field Marshal Sir John Dill, Admiral Ernest King. Roosevelt and Churchill are honored by McGill University during time out from their war conferences. The President and the Prime Minister received from Registrar T.H. Matthews the degree of Doctor of Laws. The strategies planned here a year ago now move to completion against Germany. The discussions concluded here this year will underlie the final battles against Japan. Mrs. Winston Churchill expresses that spirit. The tide of victory is gaining force each day. All the glorious news we've had in this last year gives us fair reason to believe that the present Quebec conference will be followed by similar splendid successes in the Far Eastern theater of war. The British people have gone through grim times. They know now that they are climbing to the top of the hill. But with all the just pride they feel in the great victories in Europe, they never forget the score they have to settle with Japan. They are resolved to see that through to the end with all the strength and devotion that is in them. That is the meaning of this Quebec conference. In their withdrawal from Rome, the Germans stripped the city of motor buses and with a shortage of non-military gasoline, Romans turned to makeshift vehicles. A one-man motorcycle does the work of many. A horse-drawn bus attracts full loads of customers. Mules, too, do their share in solving Rome's transportation emergency. At the United States Military Academy at West Point is General Leitão de Carvalho, chief of the Brazilian delegation of the United States Brazil Defense Commission. General Carvalho receives the salute from a guard of honor and in the name of the Brazilian government decorates the standard of the academy with the order of military merit of Brazil. General Carvalho. General Wilby, West Point Commandant, accepts for the Cadet Corps, a symbol of the fraternity of arms of Brazil and the United States. combat pictures of the United States Marines in action, made by Marine Corps combat cameramen, men who go into battle with cameras so that the world can see the news. Here is a single unit of Marine cameramen, this time on Guam, 
They are briefed before combat as carefully as any combat team. All operations are painstakingly planned ahead of time. Then toward the front. Fighting breaks out violently, the cameramen are ready. Here, in constant peril and in all kinds of battle conditions, they do their job. The combat cameramen return, the day's assignment completed. <laughs> 